One handy feature of Forms Boss Plus is the reports that you can run based on the information that you enter into the program. You'll see on the main menu there's a tab with all of the different reports that you can run. Different labels, lists, um, monthly reports, yearly reports. You'll see that some of the reports are coded with a green color. That's because the management option is required for those reports. They are based on information that you would enter in portions of the program um, that you would have to have the management option to access. But there are also lots of, uh, lots of reports here that are in uh, the white coloring. Um, and those are available if you do not have um, the management option as well. Let's take a look at uh, one of these reports so that you can get a picture for what it looks like. We're going to do a customer listing. So you just double click on the report that you want to run. It opens your report options dialog box and it gives you several options for filtering out different records for this report. So here you'll see that you can choose to show customers or prospects or both. You can choose to show active records or inactive records or both. Um, and you can choose whether you want to show records for a specific sales rep or for all of your sales reps. Here you have options uh, also about uh, commercial and personal prospects or customers um, and you can select which of those you would like to use for this report as well. Once you've made all of your selections in this dialog box you just click OK and it will generate the report for you. This report is actually only one page but if it were more than one page you would navigate between pages with these green and blue arrow buttons here at the top. Um, and you could actually even just uh, type the page number that you wanted to go directly to here in this box and uh, you would just go straight there. Here you have different uh, zoom features. Um, then you can just select uh, which of the zooms that you want to use to view your report. Or you can also toggle through uh, the zoom levels by just double clicking on the report itself and you'll see that it changes um, the zoom amount. If you wanted to open a report that you had saved previously somewhere on your computer, you would use this uh, folder button here and that would uh, give you access to um, all the files on your computer. You can open a report um, there. In order to save this report, um, you would just click on this button and you could um, navigate to whatever folder you wanted to use to save. Um, save the report and give it a file name here. You'll notice that you can actually save this report with a number of different um, suffixes and a number of different formats. It will default to our Forms Boss uh, report style, but you could also save it as a PDF, um, an HTML file. Um, there's lots of different options here. You click save and it will save that report for you. This is your print uh, button. You can click on that and it will give you your print dialog box um, so that you can print the report out uh, if you'd like to. And when you're finished looking at this report you can just uh, close it with this door button. You'll notice that there's lots of different reports here available for you. I'm not going to take the time in this tutorial to go through all of them, but um, there are plenty of um, features here, so make sure to take advantage of uh, these reports in Forms Boss uh, for collecting and analyzing the data that you enter.